All right, welcome back to another one of my painting sessions. Um, if you saw um, my other videos, you might say that this setup looks pretty similar, and it's because it is. I'm going to be redoing the overlapping planets I did last time, but with a different style and new cutouts. These cutouts are, uh, well, as opposed to the other ones I used, perfect circles. So it should be much better to use. I also am a bit more prepared. I already got the tape on them and I already have a paint set up. I don't know if you could see them all. Um, the reds and oranges are over there. Um, but I'm going to have a different style this time. I'm not going to have a, a lot of texture. I'm going to be using a gradient texture for um, all of them. And not just, oh, um, let me get my gas mask. And not the textured one that was, I was conflicting with the other textures. This is gonna be much more coherent. So it should turn out a bit better than last time. But only time will tell. So I'll get to it and let that time fly by for you. Warm up. I already checked with my gas mask. It doesn't seem to be working. There we go. Get there. Let me take this rock and water it. So it's there uh, a bit smoother to use. Alright, oh, another thing about this painting is six planets instead of seven. So it's going to be, um, again, a bit more um, coherent. It's not going to be, like, I already have it all planned out. So I know which one's going to be one. Of course, it's going to be fine to um, mix it up a bit. So I'll just say the colors. So this is going to be red um, with a little bit of orange on top, orange and yellow. Light greens, maybe a little bit dark green here. Um, this is going to be the green and blue transitioner. This is going to be straight blue, and this is going to be the purples. No pinks. Because I think purple will just be enough. I don't really need to add the other stuff.
Okay. I know where I'm gonna put it. So I just wait a little bit for this to dry. I'm gonna have a little bit of water here, but not a lot. So yeah, um, with, because I also have the hollow stencils for these, the inverse of what this is. So I'm hoping that will bring me towards um, a new, um, a new stage, if you will, of painting experience or ability because I've heard that lids are much better than, um, uh, not lids, um, stencils are much better than lids if you use them right and if you make them right. I'm pretty sure I've, I've made them right, it being perfect circles and all, uh, made out of scrap paper. Um, the lids have been a bit more deteriorating as of late, but all I had to do for these is just wait a little bit uh, for the paint to dry and then put them down and not add too much weight. Only put the weight down when you have to. Um, well, some, a lot of people just do weight all around. I just put weight down where I have to um, because I don't want to use A, I don't want to use all that much. And B, if it's already sticking there, if I add too much pressure, it will just make it stick. And I don't want that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is all well and good. That's no, fine. I could always go over it again. Okay. First one down. Okay. Let's make a circle around. Just make a little bit. What does it matter? Fine. Add that there. It might need a little bit there just to this. That's good. And this is just the paper. Okay. All right. We're good. On to the next one. But I can just pass off. There we go. Over that this is good enough. There we go. Okay. Before I was shooting straight. So it's not like that, and that would be good. So it's not that long that it's uh, like a nozzle if it's, it's working and get some like that. So just clean the tip. You don't have to do anything fancy in the head, um, the, um, how do you call it? It's a pipe underneath. You don't have to do it with that if it's acting like that or if it's just clogged. If there isn't any clogs, then there's an internal problem, which is going to be a bit more difficult to take care of. You just need to steer it at manual steer it. Um, I see that acetone works pretty well, but not a lot. Uh, on the inside, it works really well on the outside. So if you have some issue on exterior, just use um, acetone and then use golden. If you can't use it, or if it's not working, use the minimal steer. That's what it says on the back. So that's what I would advise you to do. So. Okay. 
I'm just gonna have to wait a bit. And then, where is the shot? This lady, is it? Is it? I can check okay. So I'll place it down. Let me see. Yeah, like, like this. So that I'll place it down. And you can see already picked up a little bit. So, it just shows that it's not the best thing, not the best way for the moment. I need to see if I black, okay. black will be fine. I shouldn't be adding a lot of pressure here on my knuckles because there's probably going to be a lot of stuff coming off already. Yeah, I'll see if there's any issues. There probably will be. Yeah, I figured. Okay, let's try to lift this up. Yeah, the black was an issue. Everything else is fine, but the black, that was the issue. Okay. So I'm gonna reapply that. And wait for both while I'm doing that. I'm shaking up the green cans. Putting up the red one because I shouldn't be using them anytime soon. And you can see here that the crease is pretty good, especially here, very crisp. Um, here I could just spray down more directly, but I didn't want to risk it. Too much moisture will uh, seep in, it will bleed through, and that's not good. I'm going to have to wait, just like last time, so that sucks. Um, but while I wait, I'll just have some water, shake up some more cans. And other stuff, maybe talk to you about the other process and processes that I plan to do to, to um, add to this painting. <clears throat> but for now, I'll just wait, have some water. Um, so like I was saying, you, I mean, first of all, you could kind of see how it's going to look here, um, that the planet is going to look, it'll look much more vibrant with the background. I mean, you could kind of see up top here, it would look pretty good because the, the black overdrop of the other planet on top of it, um, there's going to be other colors over here who will be fading. Um, I plan to add small stars, which... If you don't know, it's when I spray on top of this and it adds a little, it kind of like a splash effect. Get that fly off here. Um, and it's pretty alright. If you do it right, if it's too heavy, it doesn't look right. If it looks too soft, then it basically just doesn't exist. Um, so you kind of just have to play your cards right. But if you do it right, it looks good. I think it looks good. And uh, instead of do, putting it basically right here, I'll be more spaced out. I mean, this planet in general is much larger than the base planet of the other um, painting. 
Um, so it'll be a bit more grandiose on here, but not on space back here, which is also good. So I don't have to gamble on which sign, like which far away it would look good. Cause I only really have one option. And it's just this little strip right here. When I go more further up here, it's still pretty small. So this is the main focus in the background. It truly will be the background as it will take significantly less space but we'll add a backdrop that will add to the contrast of the main planets the eye candy okay i'm gonna wait for these to dry a bit more i'll get fan over here which is just a paint scraper i use this for making star rays as well or just uh, white lines any lines Uh, let me see. No, I don't really have a size of it, do I? No. But this painting over here, I am pretty sure this is 14. Yeah, th this is 14 inches long. So I would reckon this is about 12. And this seems about 12 inches. I mean, I can measure it right now. at the at the high at the widest point because it does taper off towards the end but very slightly i'd say maybe um a quarter of an inch down it tapers off but if you use it right you know not to fly it around everywhere it, it works pretty well especially as a fan but as but it also is very good at making very fine lines at this edge but as you can see here, most of the paint where it shines, it's at this middle section. You do not paint down over here. It's all up here. Because if you paint all the way down here, it will be way too sharp. Not too sharp, it will be way too broad, way too heavy. You don't want that. Unless that's what you're going for. In which case, do that. Because if you do it, let's say if I point right here, there will be a concentration right here. Then it will go up. But usually you don't really get to control that uh, concentrated spot. It kind of just um, becomes a pool of paint. So what you usually do to make a star is you either freehand it like that, or you have a very small stencil, maybe like this, or here, or even a smaller one like this. Uh, I mean this, like this smaller one. I just have to have it on this piece of paper to stabilize it because the surface area isn't big enough. So um, those type of things, once you have that dot down, then you do the rays and you do that up here. You have it right, right down and then you spray around where you want it. You don't just spray in one location. That's why you see it's all scattered about. And I'll do it like this, very lightly, not too heavy, very lightly and fast as well. Not too fast that you skim off. You must control where you're going. So only use your wrist, not your forearm. Your wrist, only well, your forearm, just your arm in general. Use your wrist. That's what I do. I mean, that's what a lot of people do to control their sprays. It's all on the wrist. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to plant this down again okay the dangerous thing about this is if I get it wrong I'm screwed because it will just not look right I'm pretty sure I got it right. Um, you can only know later on. This is really good. I have no issues about this. The orange planet will do perfectly fine. I can already tell. Right here. That's what it needs.
needs to be, but where should the crease be? Uh, I think here. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, I'm gonna put a heavy, heavy bit right here. And additions over here. Okay, that's good. That's about right. Don't make a mark there. I kind of see it. Right there, right there. I'm going to do it over where I'm going to place it. So we cover it up on the next panel. Okay, I'm going to put the white on there first. It's a bit branching out there, but the focus is in this area. And on here, it's perfectly fine. So let's see. So this is where it will hit. So it won't be a lot of green, which is good. But one a lot of green, one of the light greens will be available. Because later on, you will want more of the dark greens and the blues mixed together. More greens, of course, um, but blues intermingled in there as well. So that will be this pennant, and then straight blue, and then purple. Like I said previously. That's the game plan. And as you can see, I'm adding a lot more shading this time around. I meant to do it last time, but I didn't really take into account the size of uh, my templates, my, uh, my stencils. Because I only took account here, but not here, which means a lot. Because this adds contrast to the top of this and allows for consistent shading for the other planets. Because for the first three, I had something like this, but afterwards it was only here down. I don't want that this time around. I want it to be more consistent. And that's what's going, that is what it's going to be. This time I actually planned a little bit. Didn't sketch it out or anything, but I want to really do that for um, commissions, more in-depth commissions, because some people just want just do your space stuff and I don't buy it. And that's what I do. Make my space stuff and they'll buy it. I mean, I try to do the most um, detailed space stuff for them, but I don't know. I guess they just don't really care about it. Which I'm fine. I'm fine with. I just don't want to shortchange them. Few more seconds and we should be golden. The smaller the can, the easier it will to dry because I won't be using a lot of paint. And the more the paint, 
um, the longer it will stay wet. And the more, uh, the less there is, um, the, um, the less, I guess, supported they will, uh, they'll be with their surrounding um, molecules, if you will. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I don't know. It's been a while since I've taken chemistry. But what I think it happens is, uh, think of it like this. Um, there's a big pool of water, right? And that, let's just say they put it to freeze because that's basically what's happening. Um, the paint is freezing, drying up. And if you have a large amount of water, it will take a very long time, um, comparatively to just a normal pond, um, for it to cool down. Uh, it's also because it's, um, it's deeper down in a lake rather than a pond. That's why you see just an, if you put water in like a plate, um, then it will freeze much faster than if you put it in a cup or bowl, because it's much deeper. But it's still the same as it will freeze much, um, much slower if it's in a uh, more spread out space, if there's more of it. But it still freezes. doesn't seem so to me, actually, maybe I almost made it uncentered, there you go, uh, that should, okay, yeah, that looks good, that yeah, looks about right, that uh, looks natural, it's, it's, oh, that's not good, but it's, it came up pretty quickly, so that's, I guess it's good, and change twist of things. Okay, so this is all good. Um, I forgot to pick this up. I'll still be using these paints, but not these. Not the lighter ones. I try to mix them up the best I can, but uh, no promises. Yeah, I'll be perfect. It's harder than you think mixing these all up over and over again. Good workout going. Not just for your wrists, it's for your arms. Okay, fourth planet, here we go. Now they got clogged. Hopefully it's just on the outside. I'd hate it to be on the inside, but that's what it's looking like. I really don't want that to be the case. Yeah, seems like it's on that inside. That sucks. Yeah. 
Give me a second. So the last option is to use the glass. And I don't want to use the glass at all. So there's just not much of a reason to do so. No, other than the back of the button. Um, let's see, hopefully it does, but, um, I stuck it away, I'm thinking it'll work, no, uh, just like the first one, okay, well, now do it is, I hope I can find another one here, okay. Let's do it one. Maybe this will work on it. Let's see. This will work. Because that was like a double decker. Or like an ultra coat. Like spray paint. An empty one there. This nozzle seems to work pretty fine. I don't know. There might be a lot of droplets. Maybe a bit too high pressure, um, which would cause such a thing. But it looks, it looks pretty alright. And it should be a bit high pressure. I think the best thing. Plugged up, it's made, it has made its way down, all the way down. My goodness. And this, this thing is far down. Um, it sucks. I've got to get a new one. I don't know if it's, I, I don't think it's a dye that causes it. It can't be. Okay, I'll still be enough of it. A little bit of, of light blue at the top. Okay, should be good. Uh, let's see how far this planet will reach. Where is the center? Um, 
What are they done there, I guess? Right there. Um, okay. I'm just going to turn it all the way down. I don't know where it is. Okay. Okay. That's pretty alright. Like I said, the boundaries are over here, but the inside didn't go from the inside. Right there. There we go. Um, okay. So I'll place this down just for you to see. That's where I will cover. I can't really see it myself from this angle, um, but maybe you can up above. And just so you all know, this won't be uh, orange, this will be red. Um, I wanted this to be dark green, but we all saw how that went. So not that we would pull that off. Maybe with the gloss nozzle, but uh, I don't think it'll work that well. I'll put this back. Uh, in the meantime, I am going to shake up the other blue can. issue with the green spray paint. Okay. And there's not a lot of contaminants this time around. Maybe it's because I'm not bending over all the time looking at it. Um, because I, I mean, I don't know how, how the hair keeps getting on there because I don't have a lot of hair exposed. So I guess it's, I don't know. Get your fat and fan in now. I mean, some of the shadow is a bit up above, but I'm not gonna push my leg. I already expanded it enough. I don't wanna do it too much. Cause I, it's fine as it is. It won't really matter. Cause the issues of the other painting was not enough shadow. Uh, I don't want there to be too much shadow. I uh, didn't want to redo it because there's not enough color. There's enough color here. Because let me see, I guess I'm going to try to bend over just to see right here. I mean, the line lines up there. So all of this up to this line will be the color. And that will be fine. It will be fine. And now it's will be okay. And then, like, the background will complement it pretty well. So, um, yeah, it'll look good. It'll look good. I know. And it's fading in pretty well, the, the shadow. You know that it's darker colors even before the black. So, and you know it's teal, there's some green in there. So the color is fine. Um, and the roundness of the black, it will help uh, make it seem that it is more like a planet as it should. Um, more circular. Try to get this thing out. So a bit longer. And we should be covered in. One thing I am worried about is I take up too much space with the circles, and then this planet has to go up there, and I don't want that to happen. 
So, yeah, I'm a bit, I don't know what, what I'm gonna do. I could only really find out after I put this on. A few more strokes. Okay, let's see. Okay, a bit more, and then we'll be fine. Actually, I'll tell you about something new I'm planning. As I said in a previous video, I'm a big monster on the fan, um, and the new, um, new uh, Rise expansion, Monster on the Rise expansion, is coming out. Uh, Sunbreak, of course. Uh, the fourth trailer with Shagu Magala um, and some other stuff was just dropped today, the 28th. So of course this video will not drop on the 28th, it will drop much later on as I am, um, it is, think of it as a queue. I only upload so much videos a day um, and I only upload, I only make so many videos a day. Usually I make more than what I produce, um, which means if I have a have to take an off day I already have I already have videos to upload um, but enough about that uh, so sunbreak I plan on playing it I don't think I'm going to record it as you know, I, I'll just have my gear um, from the base game but something so, yeah I, I don't think it, it'll be that engaging uh, it, it might but I would have to have like a big explanation of how I got that stuff. Um, but one thing I was thinking of was the game before Monster Hunter World, right? It was also on the Switch and it, it was called Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate or Monster Hunter XX as it was called in Japan. Um, this game was um, the culmination of all the classic Monster Hunter games before it. Um, I, I'll, I, I think of it as Capcom doing all the classic stuff before Monster Hunter re released afterwards. So, uh, one of my friends who's going through World right now um, should be fighting Fatalis right about now. Uh, once he beats Fatalis, he'll go on Monster Hunter Generations. Uh, on Generations Ultimate. So, once he does that, I was planning on, because I already asked him and he's fine with it, um, doing one video, see how it comes out. Um, not really like viewer wise, because at the moment I'm getting a lot of views, which I, I'm fine with, but it is increasing, which I, I'm i very glad with. I'm very happy with. Um, so, I plan on, once he gets on, I'll get a new save. Or, because I, I don't think I'll keep my own save. I'm not in G-Rank yet, for those who have played Monster Hunter GU, uh, or Generation Ultimate. Um, G-Rank is like a master rank for those who have played Monster Hunter World. Uh, I haven't gotten there yet, but I have a lot of Dread Queen Rathian gear. Um, also, something that only months, uh, Monster Hunter Generation Ultimate players will know. So uh, I am pretty up there, but uh, I do still plan on like making a new save. So I go along with my friend, uh, so we go through the game together at the same pace. I hope to turn that into a little series. I do that and like just make a different channel. And I'll link it, of course. Hopefully, uh, by the time this video comes out, it will already be made. And that video is talking about like maybe with the first few tiny hunts will be out. But who knows? Okay, let's see if the paint has dried yet. Sorry for uh, making y'all just literally just watch, watch paint dry, but hopefully me talking to you about the other stuff is entertaining enough. Pink. Put this down. Okay, let's see. It's not centered really. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Okay, there we go. Alright. 
Second to no. Game is done. I don't feel like the Eagles out there. Uh, I'm nowhere near the coast, so. They're just normal birds. Okay, I don't find it out of our shadow. Hence why it's of course not a lot there. I really do not want this to go through the edge like this. I do not want that. I need it to, it's fine for this to be out of shot, but the end of it must not be concealed. So I have to try to make space before it reaches the, the edge of it. But in the meantime, while we wait for that to dry, I'm gonna put these paints up and then shake up the purple paint. Okay. But the shading looks nice. I try to not have a lot. This is first of all, it's a smaller planet. Second of all, I don't want it to take up a lot. I gotta pick that up. So, which adds time to that timer to the drying process but it's fine let's see open that it's okay because the smaller it is and the further away it is the less shadow that will be so um i, I don't think it's that extreme i think it'll be fine an extreme change as opposed to like this one i don't know how big the shadow was on here but i, I don't know uh, we'll see. I might have to have this a bit lower. But I don't want to, but I might have to. So we'll be see if we can get there. Now oh, here's a little uh, pinching tip for you. Hopefully I can land it, just flipping it. There we go. Here's it, it's done on the same end that we toss it with. So let's see if I could use it with this. It'll be like, like that, but you go up at a very high speed. And somehow, oh, there we go. It took a bit, but 
It almost seems like chance. It's like luck. You, you land it perfectly. You gotta get this time and check the recording. Mm. Doing 51 minutes. It looks fine. Uh, I don't think I have to tilt it up. I think that's enough. Yeah. Looks fine. I don't think I have to turn on the light either. So, much slower than the last video, but um, I only make one video for today, as this will be a very large um, size video. But like I was saying, um, keep tuned uh, for another channel for gaming. I um, tried my hand at um, at playing a very long time ago. Uh, back then, uh, I'm not gonna link it to y'all, maybe one day, but it won't be anytime soon, because it's quite embarrassing. I think all of us uh, tried our hand at it at some point in time, and it didn't really work out. I mean, I'm doing something different now, and I'm a bit more proud of it, because this is a bit more unique. Um, but it's also a bad thing. It's, it's not, it, it's a niche, it's a very small niche spray painting um, art in general good art anyway um, but yeah my other I'll give you a hint about like I, I mean I'll, I'll tell you a little bit not just a hint about the other gaming stuff I played Minecraft as all of us did uh, on my Wii U and that's something different um, I played it on my Wii U and get this I didn't have a capture card or nothing I used my phone like I'm using now, but I used it on a chair like I'm using now. But, but I didn't have a tripod. Big difference, I know. So I, I just aimed it at the TV and then started playing. I think I got maybe 14 episodes in, or maybe four. I don't know. I think I actually just had 10 somewhere in the middle. I had 10 before I thought, well, I'm bored of this. I'm not. I don't have a million subscribers, so it's useless. Um, I think I got like 14 subscribers there, mostly just friends and stuff. Uh, much slower then it, as it is now. Because maybe there's like, there's less people doing this stuff. So more people are, are um, go to channels like mine. And there's not a lot of channels like mine. So the chances of someone picking me out of a bunch is much higher than if I were to just do like Minecraft because everyone and their grandparents um, that do like Let's Plays have touched Minecraft once in their lives. So uh, it's a bit too saturated. So, good and bad. You could get very lucky like uh, like that kid Tommy Unit I think his name is. He got he, he spent he. Um, speed run my YouTube it, it was insane how fast it grew uh, I think that was the only you know, I think he broke a record or something it was insane but the community Christ the community I would not want to be affiliated with them they are a, a vicious a vicious bunch but the kids game I, I played a lot of Minecraft in my day and I mean a lot of Christ I'm talking like an old person um, but um, I, I usually play modded Minecraft, which is where it's at. It's, you gotta play it one time in your life. I'm um, gonna only play it on PC or lap and like PC, but I mean, it, it's worth it. So I didn't get a PC for the sole purpose of playing modded Minecraft, but it was the, one of the big reasons. Because it was wild. It's insane. I think it's one of the best modded games ever. Because it's, it, it's kind of like a sandbox for both playing it normally and for um, editing it, if you will, for mods. So it, it's a playground for both ends. Because it's pretty simple. It's just pixel art to, to a point um, to make like the items and stuff. It's 3D pixel art. But it's very easy to render, making it very accessible. All you have to do is know a little bit of coding um, and get it done. So, uh, um, and a lot of mod packs, they have even their own story. They make it a whole new game. 
and, and that's that's good i like that the community for modern minecraft is much different from um like survival minecraft um because there's a lot of like niches within minecraft itself i think the one i was talking about earlier like the vicious bunch comes from the um like the multiplayer survival minecraft that is the or the s and I don't know what that stands for um but oh my goodness it, it's like it, it's I guess it just depends of who you have there because uh, I've seen some that are pretty innocent it's just children playing with others and it, they have a grand old time but others oh no others oh they take it a bit too seriously which i mean it's a kid's game you don't, you don't take it seriously um, unless you have like money on the line but they don't have money on the line do they they don't even have their own subscribers on the line unless they do something stupid but anything for content i suppose and i've always been trying to milk that cow dry kicking the dead horse over and over again I just do this for fun. If some of you enjoy, then that's good. Um, thankfully, that is the that's becoming a common sentiment now on YouTube, um, especially with Charlie White or Moist Critical, not the Penguin Z, uh, Zero, um, which is like uh, that, this guy is. I would think of him like the forefront of that sentiment that I was talking about. Doing it for fun, um, just uploading it and with not really a lot of effort even. And like the thumbnail is not edited. Um, he even did that all the way, uh, cause he didn't do a lot of thumbnails. I don't think he even did uh, one thumbnail. When, whenever, he, or edited thumbnail rather, he just picks a random one that looks all right and like the, the um, automated ones and he just picks one and that's it. I mean, I think the only ones that he, I don't think, I don't think he even edits his own. Um, I, I mean, he probably has another guy do that, uh, edit the photos and put it down and give it to him, then he's up to it. And that's fine. I don't have any qualms with that. Um, I mean, I, I don't know how to edit all of that stuff. I mean, I try to like put the finished product of these paintings down as a thumbnail but it says they, it's a, too big of a file size i uh, know i sound like a like a like a boomer right now but it it's a bit different i know it has to do like the variants of file i know that but it i don't really know how to change it well, or like which file variant to choose so i don't really want to go through the process of asking Google what about it. Okay. Where do you want to edit up here? I mean, let's put it up there. See where this goes. Okay, this okay, it will be it'll go fine. Okay, it'll it'll do fine. Okay. Let's see right there. Okay, it looks good. Right there. All right, so this will go right here, right where I wanted it to, even a bit lower, which is great. Right where I want it to, perfect. Now, okay. I'm gonna start with this part, and then we go a whole new track. So, how many uh, they can do? Or, uh, I don't know. That's, we'll do this part of the painting and then we do the other part of the painting. That's what I'm talking about. We're on a different stage now after this. Okay, so it's purple. Going on. There we go. Oh, purple. Find that. And then I'll go over a little bit with the star tip up here. And then light purple. 
this up a bit. And I'll cover that with purple. Oh, I have to do that again. That's fine. A little bit of purple, going up a bit far away. There we go. So just that little bit of purple will stand out magnificently on the backdrop of blacks and other purples um, and it'll be great. Even if it's a little bit now, it will really pop out, I assure you. Sometimes you just have to trust the process. Even if the process kind of looks a bit stupid. Trust me, I, I, when, I, when I would look at this, like maybe a year ago, I would think, no, that's not gonna look good, trust me. Uh, and maybe when I lift that stencil up, it's gonna look like Garbo, and I don't know until I lift it up. Um, but I've done something similar, and when I lift it up, it's perfect, it's great. Um, but for this, I am really gonna wait. Um, and fan it down, make sure it's extra dry. Makes it perfect, because this, more than anything, has to look good, because I don't have room to spare. I have a little bit of black paint, um, which will take up a lot, but that is it. I don't have a lot after that. So, um, so yeah. Um, as you can see now, like this is folding up, which is good. Uh, the stencils, I mean, they're folding up, which means they're not sticking. Um, especially like the black paint, which like on the sides, uh, which is very good. I will have to add weights on them once I am done to add the, um, the finishing touches, I suppose, or the background, the background, and then we'll um, have the finishing touches, which will include the fading dots or the big stars, and then um, sharp comments um, with the um, with respecting colors. Um, so that's where it's going to be. That's what I plan. So, so I'll put them um, just, I'm just gonna spend time, just throw away some time just explaining 
what I'm gonna do. So I'll add like, let's see, like red, um, yellow, green, blue, or cyan. Um, I mean, I don't really have a cyan. I just, uh, I'll mix it up or find a middle ground. Um, blue. I'll probably put like um, l very light green and then the darker green um, and then light blue and then just normal, normal purple, not light purple, just normal purple. Cause I'm not going like extra light colors. I'm just going normal colors. It will stand out enough. I don't need it a lot. Once I have that down, I'll spray the outsides with black. I don't want the colors to stand out a lot. I simply want it in the background to contrast. I don't want the colors in the background to be the main focus point because they're so bright. I want them to be dimmed down a little bit by the black in the background. So I'm gonna use this paint, which has been spent, but I can't get it to down. Which, there we go, which has been spent. Uh, quite a bit as you can hear by the ball bearing it's made a lot of sound I'll spray that for base coats and then the full one uh, just dimming down the colors because it'll be much more of a fading more subtle color spray where if this will be um, since I can use more it will be more um, there will be more droplets it won't be as subtle so I'm gonna use that as a background where the, those drops could be covered up and won't pop out um, with the other colors. Okay. Probably should have been fanning this down while I was talking, but you know, cannot get what we want. Sometimes you forgot, you forget to multitask. But I, I got a good feeling about this one. I just had to follow through with it. And one thing I noticed um, that my last painting, um, like the purple and blue one, uh, if you've seen it, then the final product is one planet where the shading is only on one side. It's like half of the shading where it should be. Um, and I didn't really memorize what it looked like but i looked back on it to see what happened because i knew i could i didn't just make that very small amount of shade um so i looked back and found out oh, this is what i'm talking and found that once i put in the gloss it half of it basically just disappeared and some other stuff as well with the gloss when the paint is dry like the paint um traveling upwards where uh, the can is spraying almost like it has been driven by wind because it's so wet uh, that just moves up so i'm going to wait a little bit um for this painting i'm um, just just a little bit to dry moderately and then spray because it shouldn't be that wet because i just do finishing touches which sh shouldn't wet in a lot of it i, I, I don't know Maybe it's just my um, my hand thing of the spray paint. Maybe I'm a bit too fast with the gloss. I don't know. But I am going to have to get new spray paint soon. And I'll be opening my shop soon. Uh, on July 4th is when I'll be opening it up. On Etsy, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, wherever I could get a shop open. Uh, I'll get that done. And then I could sell all these. I got a few pending buyers. We're just waiting for the shops to open. Um, see what I got on sale, which will be, you know, these. I mean, this painting will eventually be on sale if it turns out good. And the other paintings I have made, they will also be on sale um, for their respective prices, some more than others. Um, one, uh, I think, like the black and white and the blue and green one like the divided i think i called it the divided galaxy i don't know um but like black and white on two triangles and the middle triangle with blue and green that one will probably go for um because you know how many paints I, how much paint i used um the hefty sum of uh, uh like 120 at most to, you know, first and foremost, cover back the paint, and then um, 
to get a little extra for myself for the scale I used because um, I had to put that in too time spent because I got the proof of the video uh, so I could look back on that and uh, so time spent paint used which I could surmise is quite a bit um, because it's the largest painting um, that I could do without sticking together other papers um, skill skill used um, like details and stuff counts as the skill and uh, other stuff of course so all of that will be mixed in for the final result it might be a bit more than 120 might be 130 140 um, but that divided galaxy will be by far the most uh, the landscape paintings also won't be cheap but they'll be cheaper than if I did on a medium um, like this is a medium um, double this that will be a large that's the largest I have um, slice this in half this way it will be a small which is what those land uh, landscape paints were the color themed ones so um, those paintings depending on like which one lowest one will probably be, be like 40 maybe highest one 85 I reckon like the green blue and black and white one the green especially will be uh, quite a bit maybe like 85 um, it'll, it'll be a bit pricey because how much time I spent into it and how much skill was needed for it whereas the divide galaxy didn't really need that much skill um, especially on like my end something like landscape painting you will need a, a, quite a bit of it to be just somewhat realistic so um, other stuff will be of course much cheaper than that if you don't want to spend a lot uh, other artworks like this they go for too much personally so um, I think I'll drop a good bargain but enough that I will get some money back at the very least be able to do more of this um, the dream is that the YouTube thing catches on this stick this is fine, but this isn't. So I have to dry that up. Um, my dream for this hobby is if the YouTube thing catches on, if I could get money from that. If I could do that and sell, uh, what I could do, if the money is good, I could lower the prices on those paintings uh, just to make um, a return and then a, just a little bit extra. Um, for other stuff um, to invest in painting where the YouTube thing will cover everything else but it, it will be very unlikely if that happens and if it does it will only it will happen uh, a very long time from now so I'll just have to keep at it if I want to have that and I've heard it's consistency and patience that gets you to that place so consistency and patience I will have to get to that i mean i have I, like i said my other career is what i um plan on having this is just a hobby um or well, is welding I plan to do it in the city if i can't get like a good paying job um, in the city um after some time i'll go out and do a uh, pipeline welding which pays quite a bit depending on like the pop pipeline you're doing uh, might be a contractor might work in a union I don't know I would just spend my two years maybe even more so in welding school get my certifications and then become overqualified because at the moment um, in terms of certifications I'm the best in my school um, I say in terms of certifications maybe in general because of that fact but there's another guy who um, if he's watching, he knows who he is. Um, but he, you know, he got a welder at home. I don't. I can't have one. Because uh, just um, where I'm at, it's not able to be used. He, on the other hand, he has that, or his pops does. His pops also got a foundry or a forge. And he's used it a bit, burnt himself. 
um, but I'm pretty sure we all would have, but he just never went back at it for, for as long as I know. Um, but he could at least practice at home. I, I can't. So I just practiced in class a bit more, uh, and I eventually got one up on him by um, doing... Uh, this is only for the wooden guys out there who knows what I'm talking about before I get started. It's getting pretty dark out. I might have, I'm going to look at the video, uh, what it looks like on the phones and if it's too dark, yep, way too dark. I'm going to be adding the lights now. Like that. Let's see. A bit better. I'm sorry for the shine, but better than pitch dark, I guess. Uh, like I was talking about, the cert that I got at the end of the year, uh, this school year, was um, quite certain it was a D19. Yeah, D19. Um, 7018 electrode used for stick welding in position 4F, or F4, I believe it's just 4F, which T joint overhead is what I did and uh, I passed I also got a um a D19 it was before that in the same day D19 um uh 2F yeah 2F that's what it was got that like first uh, yeah got that first try but you know it was overrode by the 4F which is in, in like what the school can provide in terms of fillet welds uh, it's the highest. I'm pretty sure this F5, F6, which I'm pretty sure F6 is all around. I don't know what F5 is. I don't think it's pipe. I think it's that's just G. Because I'm pretty sure F6, it might be just F5. I'm like tripping. But F5 might be, or if it is in an F4, I don't know. But if there is an F5, I would reckon it's just all around a pipe. Um, and it's still being fitted, of course. So, uh, G, I haven't done any G. What is this group? Well, I haven't done any of that. No pipes. The other guy uh, did a little bit of pipe, did not look good. So, he didn't really do a test for it. I mean, we also didn't have a lot of pipe to begin with. So, he also had to um, cut it with an oxy acetylene torch. So, I mean, he didn't really spend. Or really care to spend a lot of his time using oxy fuel. I mean, none of us did really. I mean, me and him, we tried to um, try our luck at making um, what's it called? We think it's not chamfer, is it? Just slanted edges. Um, doing that. For time. Okay, let me just place it there. Oops. Okay. Looks good. I have to lift it up. Oh, what's this? Okay. That looks centered. If I ever knew what Sanford centered was, it would be that. Let's get this all planted down. Make sure this don't move an inch up off the ground. Yep. This is what all y'all were waiting for. This is final stretch.
Okay. And I'll just do the normal snack instead of the rugged one. I'm going to add a little bit on top of that to add that little space dust effect. Uh, a little bit over here. Don't need to do it. Just a little bit. Okay. And I'll add a little bit of white. A lot of them is kind of through everything. I blur some things out. Making the color a bit too shimmery. Oh, 
this part is the fading star part, the press part. And I think it adds the most pizzazz. And I think we all need a little bit of pizzazz. This will be the star of this one. It's pretty difficult. Simple as that. Thank <laughs> you. 
over here. I'm uh, gonna tidy all this up before the final removal. Um, in which case I will pray and um, I'll pray in my head and hoping that it will come off come off fine. And I I don't know. I don't know. I will say it will. I'm guessing it will. But guessing won't really get me anywhere. I have to be certain about these things. First, big steel next, small steel last. Okay. It's lifting off a little bit, which is good, a good sign. Come on, be flawless with me. Come on now. Just what is sticking? Look, it looks like it, it, it just stuck. Okay. Yeah, it just stuck to the other bit, which is perfectly fine with me. I have no problem with that at all. Okay, it's just sticking. Hopefully it's the same thing. Oh, it doesn't seem like it. Never mind, I'm wrong. And in this case, I'm happy with that. But yeah, like I was saying, only the crescent, which is good. Looks great. Oh no. Uh, this doesn't seem good. 
Okay, it, it stuck, but I'm fine with it. It didn't stick that badly, so I'm fine. I'm not that mad with it. Okay, this came off. Okay, what is this? Okay, buddy, what, what's that? Come on, what's that? What is this? Is this a game to you? Okay, um, I am going... Some of the yellow is fine. That's this? No, no, that's not. That is unacceptable. I'm gonna have to find the hollow for this. Find it, fix it down. Found the hollow for this one. Oh, it better be. No, it looks like it. Okay. It won't stick, right? I mean, I'll just cover this bit. I'll put this right there. Because it's only that part. Only, only that part. Nothing. Hoping it doesn't look bad. I lift this up, and it does. Okay. Um, how am I gonna fix this? I fix it down again. This time, it will look good. That's my solution. Basically, fine. Yeah, that's that's fixable. This is okay. There's a little bit. So. Not a lot. Okay, that's fine. I'll deal with that. No, okay, that's fine by me. Not that mad. With that. I don't know if he's stopping upstairs. But they are. Everyone. It seems like they're running around every time of the day. Come on, man. Come on. It's not that hard. I. I made sure this one was dry. Okay, I don't know why that the yellow was un is wet. That does not make sense. The red, come on, come on. Okay, okay, buddy. Okay, so there you go. I'll use it. I thought sure you used my hand for last time. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Turned out pretty alright. Um, the purple is a bit uncentered, which I'm a bit mad about. But I need that bag. Could be worse. Uh, I'll wait a little bit while I'm doing that. I'll pack up the spray paints. 
but I think it's somewhat of an improvement. There's some shading that could have been diminished. Like the green one was too much shade to begin with. Okay, this one I think it's me. Yeah, the green is too much to begin with. Um, red is alright, yellow is okay. Blue, or wait, oh, that's I am. Uh, maybe a little bit less. The purple, eh, well, not purple, but purple is also okay. Um, the blue and then the yellow is really good. Um, but it could have been angled a bit up a bit more. Kind of like how this was. But not much here. Just throw that down. Throw that down and then you'll see what I'm talking about. But it's a bit, impo it's a bit impossible to do that now, isn't it? But it's fine. It's fine. But uh, the new stencils came, uh, came out pretty alright. And um, the rims of the pants are really good. Much, much better than the other ones. Now I feel better. Um, but I could have just let it dry a bit. It, it probably took longer because it's a bit colder today. Doesn't mean it's actually cold. It just means it's a bit cooler. Um, I think it's like in the 80s at the moment, which is actually pretty temperate for here. Um, so maybe that's why it took a bit. The green was the only issue, but I think you really have to look hard enough to see the rims over there. If you hang this on a wall, you will not notice that. I got all the issues of the other one. I could not find the difference. Or I, I could not find the issue. So if it's just far away enough, you will just not notice it. Unless you look hard. Um, it might be the same for you. Maybe you, you don't really don't see some of the issues I see. Um, because I, I could you know, I could basically just touch the thing. And find any, like physical details about it. Any bumps or stuff. So it's a bit more intimate here. Um, I would just leave my head down where y'all can't. You can zoom in. That's it. Um, I c all I can do is try to describe it, uh, all the issues, and see if you can find it. Some of the comments, like the green ones here, um, I didn't have to put those in. Um, they were a bit unnecessary. I could have used a different color. Um, but the white one on top, I'm fine with that. I'm glad I used that. Um, I covered up the red comments over here pretty well. The red dot over here is basically just those are just is way too I did not care enough. I'm not gonna um, do it again. Just in case I do it badly, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Um, some of the dots are a bit too powerful, like that but it's also concentrated in a good amount. Um, um, purple dot up there is covered by the purple comets, which is a fault on my end. They never can it that well. So it sucks, but it's fine. It's not that bad. Uh, the main issues is obviously scratches up but it kind of adds a little bit of detail. It's not in the, in the shading, which would lead to a, a real detriment. So I, if it's not there, then I'm chilling. Um, and it's not, so I'm chilling, like I said. Um, like the biggest one is here, but just sheer contrast, because the yellow went up. Can't really cover it up. I'm not gonna paint over it, it'll, it'll be way too noticeable. Uh, okay, I'll put this yeah, right now I'm just organizing and putting away my cans at the moment. You can stick to the outro if you want to see with it, but I, I'm basically done with the paint, uh, with the painting. Um, had my, had my say about it, so that's pretty much it.
feel free to go unless you want to hear my kind words at the end. Oh, I have one more thing. I have to gloss it. Yeah, I have to gloss it. That's one more thing. So stay, stay into that because the gloss, the gloss will matter, especially with the background. Oh, I forgot to mention that. Are you happy you left already? Huh? Oh, no, oh, no. You ne um, those half, they will never know the true potential of this painting. What a shame, oh, what a shame that will be. Um, but I don't care, so. So, I suppose. There we go. You can see it pop now. Oh, so. oh, it's up in the middle, so you can see this and that. Very dull, um, lifeless. Here, very vibrant. This is the change gloss coats can bring. And it's a big one. I'm not really seeing a lot of side effects. Yeah, actually, I am right here. Um, but it's fine. Oh, um, here, here, this, that's, it's becoming more prevalent, huh? Man. Sucks. I can't just spray it down more. And this right here, it's like disappearing. I don't know why this happens so much to black paint. It's only black paint, too. Uh, this one here, like, what? Come on now. Well, why is it just disappearing on me all of a sudden? I'm not using that much. I'm using the normal amount. Other guys just, just spend like a whole minute, like two minutes on just gloss. I spend maybe 30 minutes. And that's it. No, half of the black is gone. It's not as bad as the other stuff. I'm here, it's really bad. It is really bad on the green. I mean, if it's far away, I guess you could ignore it, but okay, I'm going to try to bring it, it might sound bad, but I'm going to try to bring it up again. Uh, note it here. It's not very bad. I'm not touching it. I'm not, if I'll touch it one time, I'll touch it. Very Okay, it's making it worse, really. So I'll just have to put my signature on. And it's even covering my signature. It hates me, doesn't it? I made you, Benny. Why are you mad at me? Come on now. Mm. Mm, rude. Okay, well, that's done. Uh, I think it went pretty well. Oh, made by Sims. Of course, after the gloss, some issues emerged. Some very obvious issues. I'm not happy about. Um, like, man, like here, like what? This symbolic is what this is, man. I'm not gonna swear because YouTube will get me for it. But this is just. good too. I mean it's still fine but it's not perfect. I'm gonna my head about that. It's not perfect. Why can't everything be perfect? Probably what we're all asking right about now. 
but um, we want to do as much as we can on our parts. For other people, well, it's up to them. Unfortunately, we got to depend on other people, but uh, anyway, you know, about that. Um, I hope you have liked the process as long as it was uh, for this painting and enjoyed the process, uh, mainly for watching paint dry. I bet that was really riveting for you. Um, I hope you have also enjoyed the product more than I do. Um, I mean, like I said, it's fine. I mean, it's wall worthy, um, but I'm not, it's not perfect, so I'm not happy with it. So, yeah, um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope, I'm standing up. I hope you have a great rest of your day, or night, it'll be a night for me. Um, yeah, I'm looking through my phone. It's much better through here than what I'm seeing, because it's a bit more vibrant, you know? Yeah, it, it's fun that what you see is good, and it's almost two hours. Just go with me, aren't you? Two hours. <sighs> okay, this is going to be a video. Um, you know, I know a lot of people are going to be skipping it, which is fine. Um, but yeah, even though most of this was waiting, sorry about that. Uh, again, I will not be time skipping it. Uh, because if someone wants to hear me, then someone will be able to. Without slowing it down on their parts. While y'all could just skip past. Um, but yeah, I hope all of you have enjoyed once again. And I wish you all a great rest of your day or night. And until next time you join me for another one of my painting sessions hopefully um, a much shorter one than this one uh see you then bye bye